trotting along here. And I am going to do something I've never done, really, before. I'm gonna do a live Q&A tomorrow at 8 p.m. So that's Friday at eight in the night. Um, hopefully the children will be calmed down by then. And I can answer all your burning questions regarding hay, cattle, maybe me. We'll see how it goes. It's going to promote my channel on YouTube. It's gonna promote the page. That's my hopes, anyway. It is so nice out here today. If it would just warm up, up about 20 more degrees, it would be perfect. The grass is still wet, so I'm not really gonna walk out in the field, maybe later. I'm just trotting between our house, the homestead, which is the in-laws, where our barns are and the fields are and the horses are and the cows when they're home. So when you have too much pre-workout, your heart starts pumping. But I thought, maybe it's just because I'm excited for the day to get started. We are going to rake and bale that ride today. And we're going to use the new rake, the new tractor, and the big square baler. Hopefully, that's the plan. Or it was as of last night. I got some running around to do this morning. I'm a little late coming down because I spent a little too much time editing the last vlog from yesterday. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, like and share to tag along. Let's get but your day going. New tractor, new baler. It's a 6145M from Seidenstricker, our local dealer for us. Um, they're not too far, they're about mm, 10 miles and uh, 12 minutes away. They're really great. They actually swapped and they're teaming up. So they're Side Circle Noble Partners now. But they have the Coons um, parts for the rake. We can get our parts for the deers. Deer, deer. And I'm a case girl. So I'm gonna open the chickens up feed my ponies, check the bulls, and get today rolling. Oh, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon, and I am just now making my way over to the field. Jason has raked and tried to bail today. Uh, when we talked a little bit ago, it was 34% moisture, which is really, really high. Like, it'd be fine if we were wet bailing or wrapping it, but we're not. Uh, so I'm going to go over and see just how things are progressing or not progressing. I also have chocolate chip cookies, so maybe that'll smooth the water over a little bit. We'll see. It's nice. It's just there's a lot of clouds. And I don't mean like cloud coverage, like rain clouds yet, but it's like the puffy clouds that just don't let the sun come through. Oh show you here in a minute. I don't want to miss my road. It's been a day.
today say today's not going very well. Moisture is too high. Slug in the Baylor. super super wet moisture is reading anywhere from 34 percent to 48 percent we were trying to get it up there's rain coming so jason's decided finally we're just going to eject this bale and head home while we're uh waiting for him to eject so this ground uh this grass rye was volunteer uh, it was a bean field that they're going to put in corn so it is not one of our farms um, we were trying to get the rye off for haylage for the cows, um, for the guy. It's just, it's not happening. The ground was wet. The rye has never gotten dried out. We've had rain, what seems like every other day. There's more rain in the forecast, literally like in the next few hours, it's going to cut loose. Um, hay farming is a whole different process than row crop guys. Row cop guys can, can, you know, they can come out here and they could probably, even this ground to me, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't want to disc it. it it's, I mean, we tracked up with the tractor. Hay just takes a long time sometimes, especially if it gets wet and you don't have good drying days. And we just, we haven't had the weather, unfortunately. It's been just so wet and soggy and cool and damp and that's what happens. These square bales should not bust and look like accordions. They should flake off perfectly. There he comes. Slowly. does have a fancy dancy little manual eject button. I'm gonna go over and show you on the other side.
<sighs> Get the gate, gate girl. You the gate girl? Yeah. <sighs> cows we're gonna do a quick walk through I just want to make sure everybody go ahead go ahead I just want to do a quick walk through with some of these girls since I do have a couple huffers Keaton go ahead I'm gonna do a walk through I want you to go down and around and bring them around go down here and check this mineral situation out I need to move it probably move the girls maybe just tomorrow Hello, 55. Mm. Ah, yep. We don't have a whole lot of salt left. But they've cut back on some of the mineral, at least. Alright. Keaton's gonna go around and kind of do a parameter check. Fence line. We do have some cows over here that could calve, so I just kind of want to just make sure those girls are doing okay. She's real close. Come on, girls! Hi, babe. There she is. Okay, 17, you're still pregnant. Hey, good girl. Yep, her bag is in. She's loose. She's wide. Her and her sister are pregnant, so. Hello, big boy. I don't know if you can see the butt on this guy. He just moves. You can just see how well he moves. Same with brother. Actually, all four of these, are these three calves right here. These 33, 34, 35. They just, just watch the way they move. They're just nice looking calves. Nice looking calves. They're staying bulls. Yes, you are, buddy. You're the next generation of crop. Okay, let me go down here and check these girls down here. Just wanna make sure everybody's okay. That's a new one we tag for the day. Tag, calves. A tag. Tag. 20. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe. Hit the like button. We still got calves trying to calve out here. You will have a baby. I'm going to wait for Keaton to swing back around. Lucy's going to have a baby. But I am going to do something I haven't done before. I am going to... Uh, do a Q&A on my Facebook page tomorrow, Chronicles of a Farmer's Wife, 8 o'clock p.m. Central Time Zone, and uh, I'm going to answer some burning questions, if you have any. We're going to talk farming, females and ag, my farm story, how all this happened, this, these two, um, and why. Guys, two years ago, I never, never in my million years thought I would have all this. And my heart is so full and so blessed. And I got cows, cows in heat back there. Cows that are in heat.
think they're gonna go somewhere. Uh -huh.